click here to see the Entwine Couture products or click here to skip to the bun tutorial. Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee. I have partnered with Entwine Couture for their BAN campaign. I'm so excited about it. And basically BAN can be any acronym you want it to be. Um, you can be a badass naturalista if you want to. You can be a bold, aspiring natural naturalista. You can be whatever you want, but that's what this BAN campaign is for. It's just just to shout out all of the beautiful naturals out there. Um, um, also, they are very focused on targeting naturalistas that are transitioning. And it's an awesome cause because I know there are a lot of transitioners out there who are struggling, who are about to like put a perm in their hair because they don't know what to do. And I personally, I did transition as well. So I just wanted to give you, as well as Entwine Couture, wants to give you some tips on transitioning and just inspire you to keep on going with this journey um transitioning is a bit difficult it's difficult because you have two different textures in your hair and my transition was actually by accident i loved wearing weaves and eventually it just clicked one day why am i getting perms in my hair if i'm just going to you know protect it and put a weave back into my hair so um so finally one day it just clicked i'm not getting perms anymore i'm just going to um, keep weaving my hair up and just eliminate the perm altogether. And that's what I did. And the last weave I took out, my hair had grew out so much. It was amazing. So I decided to cut my hair. Um, but it's important to me as a transitioner that you take extra care of your hair because again, where those two textures meet, this can be your permed hair. This is your new growth. Where they meet is where they break so of course if you only have a little bit of new growth and it breaks you know at that meeting point then you are going to have so much breakage and it's going to be devastating to you to your ego and it's just not going to be good so um you definitely need to take care of your hair you can wear weaves to help your hair and prevent breakage as long as you're doing it properly. Um, you can do braids or um, twists like I'm rocking right now and I'm rocking braids today and this is what I'm going to help you with today. I'm going to do a tutorial for these. Um, but you can do wigs, you can do weaves, and you also can do natural hairstyles. You can do your bantu knot outs, you can do your twist outs, braid outs. Um, all of those natural hairstyles that naturals rock, you can do it too. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult for you because you're going to have to blend your two textures. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I just want to tell you uh, transitioners, um, definitely stay focused, keep going. And if you're bold enough, I would say go ahead and chop your hair off. Um, that would be my number one advice. I know you guys probably don't want to hear that, but um, I think the best thing to do is after you transition for a little while and you have some new growth, I would say just chop it off and just go natural. But I know you don't want to hear that, so that's why I'm here. Um, there are several other natural naturalistas here and on Antoine Couture's um, YouTube channel that are giving you some tips and some styles on transitioning and you know just giving you some inspiration so this is my inspiration for you guys our poetic justice braids so we're going to get started but first before i go i want to show you the entwine couture product and i have my own products here um they keep me stocked with their products so i have all of their products that i used on my hair for this style But I'm also going to show you some more products that they sent me and show you the packaging. So the first product is they package their stuff in these cute little bags. Um, so first of all, 
um, before I did my braids, I did wash my hair with their conditioner and shampoo. So this one is the Cleansing Growth Lathering Hair Bathe. And this is what I washed my hair with. And this is Act 1, and it says, Apply liberally to damp hair, massage into a lather, rinse thoroughly, and then repeat. And you can repeat as much as you want with this. So basically, this is their shampoo. And then I followed up with their conditioner, but they have the most fanciest names ever. And this is the Hydrating Growth Cream Hair Rinse. Basically, it is conditioner. <laughs> so you follow up with Act 2. So they have cute little zebra print packaging. And I think this is what we need next. Okay, this is the cream jelly styler that I rave about. This is perfect for like twist outs and braid outs, any type of set style that you want. This will give you instant setting. I mean, seriously, I don't even know if that sentence makes sense. But usually, like if I'm doing a twist out and I use this, it sets my twist. I swear in five minutes, you could probably take your hair down and then it would be flawless. Um, but this is the product that I wanted to tell you about. This is their Exotic Buttercream Hydrator. And this is what I used while I was braiding my hair. This stuff is amazing. So I washed and conditioned my hair. And I always leave probably about... I don't know I take about 75% of the conditioner out and I'll leave some of it in my hair where I can like feel that it's still some in there and I consider that like my leave-in um, but then I used this entwine couture buttercream hydrator to you know seal in the moisture basically their cream de la mode which is their edge control um, products I have not used this yet I'm gonna wait till right now to use it and finally, the last product is the oil. And I haven't used this yet either because I wanted to use this on camera. This is their Total Perfection Raw and Vegan North African Argan Oil. I've heard great things about this stuff, you guys. Like using this on your natural hair, I heard it helps with detangling. Amazing. But we're going to be using this on our scalp today. And I also have... Some sample size products. It came in this little sleeve. And I have a whole thing of sample um, products in here. And I'm going to give this away to one lucky winner. Uh, when I started my hair, I wasn't taking small sections because... I wanted to make sure I had enough hair and I didn't feel like braiding a lot. So basically you can do your braids really big everywhere except the perimeter. You want the perimeter to be really nice and neat and smaller, you know? And then if you get tired, then you can start doing the more center pieces bigger because I'm putting this up in a bun anyway. Right now what I'm doing is I'm taking small sections and I'm using the... Um, Antoine Couture Exotic Buttercream Hydrator um, on each section. So I'm taking about that much and I'm putting it on the ends first and then I will just go up the length of the hair. Once I have it on, I'm holding the ends and combing while I'm using my hair bean to detangle. And then I'm going to do a two strand twist on my hair and the point of the two strand twist is if you notice our afro textured hair it's hard to tame it when you're doing um, braids like this because you have the little flyaways at the end and it's hard to blend our texture with this more silky hair um, so I find that when you two strand twist it's just easier because the hair is already tamed before you actually do the braiding process and I also think that doing this technique will take care of your hair as well when it's time to take these braids down it should be very easy to take these two strand twists out out 
Um, so as you can see, when we twist our hair, it's more manageable. Um, it's easier to camouflage the ends of our hair. And what I do to the hair, once I have this section, I don't want the hair to be straight at the end like it is right here. You notice how it's just straight across like this? So what I do is I take a small section and pull it apart, and then I take another small section but grab it like almost like a stair step effect. So I'm grabbing the hair like this, and instead of this part being in the middle, I'm gonna move it forward a little bit so it'll hang a little bit lower than what it did when I first started. So now that I did that, it's not so straight across now, and it's like stair step, and it's like messy. And this will also give us that effect of the braid is bigger, 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 and then it's gonna go to, it's gonna end up being smaller towards the end. So now I'm gonna grab the hair right in the middle. I grab my hair and you put your hair in between. So our hair is in between. Then I'm gonna pull it tight and then twist this hair. And I'm not gonna let this hair drag until I know that it's really on the hair so it won't you know, slide down my hair. So once I do it about three to five times, then I can just let go. Um, so now what I did is, right now these are the three sections. We have two pieces that are the fake, um, are the synthetic hair, and then our twist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my twist in one section, and I'm gonna take maybe like a third of the hair and add it to our twist. So now that's a good width. So now we're left with this little skinny piece. So now I'm gonna braid one time so this thicker piece of the synthetic hair is now in the middle. Now I'm gonna take probably like half of this and add it to that smaller section. This is basically borrowing hair, which we are allowed to borrow hair with synthetic hair, not with our real hair. So now that we borrowed hair twice, we now have three even sections. So now I'm going to try to keep these sections the same all through this whole twist, I mean this whole braid. And also this is the piece here that has our twist in there. So I'm also, while I'm braiding, I'm gonna try to keep my twist camouflaged so it doesn't make the braid look funny. Notice that I'm at the end now of, the, of my hair. And usually, if I do it the old school way, how I used to do it, it would be so hard to make sure my hair stays in this braid. But with this technique, it is basically, it's so easy. So some pointers that I wanna tell you are to make the braid look really nice and neat, the trick is try to keep braiding without stopping because if you keep braiding without stopping, that means you have the same rhythm going the whole time, the same amount of pressure and tightness, so it'll be a nice braid. And it's sometimes impossible to keep going because the hair gets tangled down here and then it's hard to keep going because it'll braid you know, down there too. So you may have to stop and like detangle it. Um, but once you start back up again, try to use the same amount of pressure and tightness so it will be a nice braid. And what I mean is, you see how our braid is nice and even right here. But if for some reason you then start to braid too tight, it'll be smaller than this section. And then if you stop again and do something else, it's basically gonna be a really messy braid. So consistency is very important when you're um, doing this. When you get to the bottom of the braid, you also wanna make sure that um, you borrow hair down here because 
I say don't borrow hair with our real hair because it creates confusion and it messes up your twists or your braids or whatever. But in this scenario, we want confusion because we don't want these braids to unravel. So when I get to the end, I try to borrow hair and make it so confusing that it's hard for these braids to unravel, basically. And also, I want to be able to go as far down as possible and... Don't worry about the flyaways on these braids. You see how there's like little pieces of hair sticking off. What I like to do is with the scissors, you can cut the flyaways off. Just cut it. And what we don't get, what we're not able to cut away, we're going to boil these braids so it'll be okay. I don't fly away so it looks better. But see, our braid is nice and even. And what I try to do up here is I try to do like a checkerboard type thing or bricks. So, you know, so the parts won't be all in a straight line. It's like this part starts in the middle of this one. So it's like, and then this part starts in the middle of this one. And this part is kind of in the middle of that one. You know, just so it's not so neat. Because we want the braids to be in that um, pattern so it'll be braids everywhere all right so I have all my hair twisted two strands twisted and now we're going to go ahead and start braiding it up so I'm gonna start with this one first and plus the hair will be out the way now so I'm on my last braid finally so I'm gonna show you the technique one more time so the technique is do a two strand twist first then we're gonna loop the fake hair on our twist and we're gonna braid it about three to five times without moving um, the braid without actually braiding it down then we're going to borrow hair from one piece of the synthetic hair and then we're going to braid and then we're going to borrow hair again to even it out and now we're just going to attempt to braid it from the top all the way to the bottom with consistency in our braiding pattern so it'll be a nice neat braid so we want to keep it the same tightness the same um, 
sides all the way down. So I'm loving it, right? They look cute. I haven't had braids since college, you guys. my hair is all finished and I'm just going to show you this cream de la mold edge control so I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my edges And now I'm going to use their Argan Oil, which the tip of it is a really precise tip, so it probably will be really easy to get in between my braids. Yes, it's like an exact like point and shoot. So I'm just going to spray some of this so it'll get um, in between my braids and, and my scalp. And I'm just going to massage it into my scalp, making sure I get everywhere. And I hope that someone tries this style um, while they're transitioning. Or if you're already natural and you need a break, you can try this style and use the Entwine Couture products. If you want to try Entwine Couture products, you can purchase it on EntwineCouture.com or you can enter their giveaway. And I'll have all the details below. Definitely check out Entwine Couture on YouTube as well. And yeah, I hope that I helped you guys. Yay! So protective styles are really good for transitioners and naturalistas. It will help you just stay in the fight to be natural forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm like totally feeling like a bold ass naturalista right now. You know what I mean? Good luck, you guys. Happy growing, happy transitioning, all that good stuff. Bye, curls. is perfect for this style it's bunning honey bunning it's heavy too oh my god so yeah curls i hope you guys love this tutorial it was kind of like three tutorials in one almost but um yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye